peace and blessings this is Giovanna with your spiritual love forecast for today Thursday January the 9th and I wanted to share my calendar message for the day I've got the Louise Hay um, desk calendar and for today it says I attract new friends who are exciting loving caring accepting funny and generous I thought that was a really beautiful affirmation um, for us when it comes to love and relationships. So before I get started, again, hi, I'm Giovanna, the Spiritual Love Healer. I provide intuitive tarot readings, energy healing, as well as coaching sessions to really help you magnetize and manifest the love that you desire and deserve. So this year I started doing these daily energy readings um, because I felt like it was something that needed to be done and I've been enjoying the messages. So today we've got the loving man, which is really good. And that also aligns with the affirmation on um, my calendar there. And then we also, what came out was contract and door to personal healing and happiness. And so what I gather is many of you are looking for a loving relationship, right? You want to have loving people come into your life. And um, I know a lot of the women who follow me are women, so I'm pretty sure the energy of this loving man came up for that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be gender specific either. So don't feel that this message can't resonate just because this card says loving man. Um, this is a positive loving figure I feel like it's um, someone from your past that's like sending you a message I don't feel like this is necessarily a person this could be um, like an uncle a grandfather a father um, someone that cared about you that possibly has passed because what I'm paying attention to is the the aura and halo and lights around you. It doesn't feel like a physical presence at this moment, but they're bringing you a message, reminding you because he's bringing you flowers, reminding you that you are loved, um, reminding you that you are special and that you deserve the best. And so what I'm looking at behind him, right? There's like this valley, there's a whole lot of greenery, there's this path. There's nothing out here. So it's not like he just walked over from next door this person came a long way to give you a message. And what that says is that you're worth the effort, you're worth the work. So remember that in your relationships that um, you're not difficult, you're not asking for too much, you're worth what it is that you are expecting and what you're requiring of someone. So don't lower your standards, don't, um, don't cave or feel like, oh, I need to drop my expectations or, oh, I'm being too demanding. No, that's not it. You're worth, you're worth the work. You're worth the journey. Um, so with contract, what I've got here, and it came out kind of blocking the um, door to personal healing and happiness. And so contracts can sometimes literally mean, okay, it's a contract. Um, or what I'm thinking here, it's, it's not necessarily a physical contract, but it is the, the beliefs, the things that you are believing, the things that you have like stamped your name on and said, this is what it is, this is who I am, this is what I believe. The contracts are the things that you have made agreements with. Um, the Four Agreements is an amazing book. I've read it a couple of times. I will probably reread it again this year. But um, if you have not read it, I highly recommend reading The Four Agreements by, uh, oh, I can't think of his whole name, Don Miguel. I'm forgetting part of his name, but it's, it's a phenomenal book. Um, look it up, read it, get it. So you need to figure out what are the things that you've been agreeing to? What are the things that you have on some level been accepting or saying yes to that are standing in the way of all of this beauty that's standing in the way of you walking through this door to healing and to happiness and to wholeness? And so for some of you, when you start to drop these, these contracts, and these can be like habits, thought processes, um, old relationships, anything that you have made an agreement with, 
in your life at some point to say, okay, I'm going to believe this. I'm going to believe this about myself. This must be true. Identify what those are and start to rethink them, start to release them, start to end contracts that are no longer in alignment with who you want to be, with the relationships that you want to have. Because when you do that, then this becomes unblocked and you'll be ready and willing to welcome that loving partner into your life on, on a deeper level. So I love this message. Um, I think it was definitely needed <laughs> because we have been seeing the um, consciousness lack card come up so much this year. Um, and we are going to dive deeper into the mindset of love inside of the spiritual love circle. So I do invite you to join me there. Um, it's a private group on Facebook for women who want to be supported in their journey to love and healing and all of those amazing things. So I will see you there. Peace.